Hi everyone, uh, my name's Tim Denham. I live up here in Benlock in Victoria. We purchased this 40 acres uh, recently so we could live uh, semi-rural and uh, living out there we needed uh, power to the house because we needed to build our house and shed. So the, there's either pay the power company to bring it uh, overground or underground or go off the grid with solar and batteries. So we uh, chose to do that. So when we first uh, brought the system, we weren't allowed to build the house first, we had to build the shed. So we just started with uh, a battery and solar system for the shed and the shed roof, which is about 40 panels or 16 kilowatts in size. And the batteries were 60 kilowatt hours. And that was designed, we thought at the time, to run the shed and the house. Once the house came along, in winter you don't have as much light during the day, it's not as long as it is in the summer. So we decided, okay, the batteries are okay, why don't we harvest more sunshine during the day? So the next upgrade was installing the solar panels on the house. So in, across the entire north face of the house, we've got another 74 solar panels, or 32 kilowatts, totaling to 48 kilowatt hours of solar can be generated, kilowatts of solar. So that was the next upgrade. After that, we found that during the day, that's all good, the batteries are full, but on those cloudy days, and I come home from work, I need to charge the electric car, and it's dark, we need more battery storage. So the next thing was to get some more battery storage, which is what we did. We added another uh, 30 kilowatt hours of storage. So now the batteries are totaling 92 kilowatts of storage there. So we've got a three phase system here. Normally you charge a electric car on a single phase because that's what you have available at your house, which would give about 40 kilometers of range added per hour of charging. We have a three phase setup here, so we can get 70 kilowatts of range per one hour of charging. So it copes very well. Three phase inverters there, so there's three Victrons there, 10, 10 kVA each, totaling 30 kVA or 30,000 watts. The Tesla charges 11,000 watts, so there's still plenty of capacity there between those two numbers. Commodore to date have been fantastic. This is my second off-grid build with them. Um, I've gotten to know the staff really well. They're very polite and professional. They're able to size a system according to your power requirements on the day. And also if you're a little bit tight on budget, but you want to squeeze that little last part of the sun out of it, they're willing to work with you to um, get it done. I'm one of those guys that will sit there and watch the batteries tick up the percentage per day. Just amazing. With the upgrades and that, we could see about 50 kilowatts of power generated in one hour on a full sunny day. Um, I'm anticipating on the summer days coming up, we could make about 300 kilowatts in one day in power. Uh, so much so that we're actually on order a new Tesla for my wife shortly. So between the two of them, we could reach that figure there quite easily.